everyone, I'm Chris. And I'm Clay. And you're watching the Chris and Clay vlog. Today we went back to Broadway. <laughs> I missed it so much. It wasn't quite uh, back to Broadway. There's a tap step called back to Broadway, which is what Clay was doing. A lap heel, heel spank, heel toe heel. That's called the back to Broadway. And that's what we did today. Talk about the Broadway pop-up series, Clay. So they are doing pop-up performances around New York, some in Broadway theaters, some outside around New York, and different people are getting to perform from musicians to dancers to performers all around New York, which is super exciting. It was really exciting to get to go. My PSM, which stands for Production Stage Manager, yeah. some little theater lingo. Um, my PSM from Pretty Woman on Broadway, um, he called me and was like, hey, I'm helping out with these pop-ups. I'd love for you to be in the audience. And we were thrilled, we were so excited. Now, the way these pop-ups work, you can't just go buy a ticket. They're for select specific audiences. Sometimes they pick a charity and they invite the staff to come to see the show. This one was for Broadway artists that were in New York City uh, when this one took place. Yeah, there were a whole bunch of like industry professionals in there from stage managers to wardrobe people yeah. and actors. It was, uh oh, somebody just fell <laughs> or somebody dropped something. I think someone dropped some marbles or something because it kind of rolled across the floor. So there was a lot of people there from the theater family, so that was exciting. Yeah. But this is not like regular old Broadway shows where there's a big cast, full orchestra, you're packed in there, tight line for the bathroom, concessions, none of that. This was all very, 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 very small and like trimmed down. So before even going into the theater, we had to either prove that we were two weeks out from the second vaccine, or we had to get a COVID test within like six hours of the show. So Chris was actually two weeks out from his second vaccine shot, like to the day. Yeah, that, and, was, that was nice. And I got a COVID test just a couple hours before the show. These pop-ups are top secret though. All we knew was the day and time. We didn't know where it was gonna be, who was gonna be performing. They email you that day and remind you to get your COVID test or bring your vaccine card and then they tell you what theater to go to and what time we had select times to be there your check-in was at 1 15 yep. mine was at 1 30 you could not be late uh, there was no seating past 145 then when we got into the theater it was socially distanced there was one to two people a row so we're back in the broadway theater for the first time since the pandemic hit this is my first broadway theater to be back inside of play is in the row in front of me right there i'm right here in the end and we are uh, socially distanced out. We had different uh, call times, if you will, different appointment times for when to be here. It's a great setup, and we're gonna be surprised with who's on the stage after this. But it's really fun to be back here, where um, I saw Clay and King Kong a million times, where we've seen a million shows. So it's fun to be back here. And back in a Broadway theater, I will probably shed some tears. Yay. They taped out all of the seats so that there was only one or two seats available. So we didn't even get to sit together. Yeah. So they were very, very strict about keeping everybody super far apart. So it kind of reminded us of Broadway because we were like in a theater together, but it definitely reminded us that we have a long way to go still. Yeah. Back in the Broadway theater, this is crazy. This is where King Kong was. So I spent many a day in tech trying to figure out what I was doing in that show, in this theater. And now I'm back at one of the first New York Pops Up performances. Excited to see what's happening. We don't even know who's performing or who's doing what, but excited to see it. Look who's in my aisle. The one and only Tony Bracco. I know, I'm gonna cry. We're socially distanced out, but we're here. So talk about who was performing, Clay. We got to watch Amber Iman perform. Yes, and the week before was like Nathan Lane and Savion Glover. Uh -huh. And I was like kind of expecting there to be a huge, like big household name there. But let me tell you, this woman is about to make it huge. She's already been a lead on Broadway. She's already done it. Multiple times. Yeah, yeah. But she's about to be a huge star because, man, not only is she immensely talented, but she commanded that stage. It was a one woman act. She had two backup singers for one song. Uh -huh. And she had a pianist with her, that was it bare stage and and it's the Broadway stage so yeah. that is not a small stage to be commanding the entire stage of and she did it it was incredible oh my gosh like you were saying her voice is incredible and her style is incredible mm -hmm. but what she had to say mm -hmm. moved me even more than just the songs that she picked it felt like pre-pandemic times it was so special getting to talk to our friends that were in the audience mm -hmm. hang out in the lobby after the show on our way out oh Tommy, what'd you think? I loved her. It was so amazing. Yes. They're so good. I, I like, you know what's so funny? Like, their voices are incredible, 
obviously. Yeah. But for me, it was more about the words. Like, oh, yeah. Agreed. The words that she shared, that what her story was about, I was so relating to everything she said. Oh, oh my God. We got to hold hands, walk down the street, and it was like old times when we'd go see a show on our day off, or like when we would walk home from work. So it was really, really nice to be reminded of that feeling. Can't wait to get back to that feeling. I know. Get your vaccine so we can all go back to work. Please. Ah, oh, Clay, how was it? So good. I'm in another world right now. Yeah. She is oh gosh, she's phenomenal. Superstar. What an awesome experience. It was yes. like, gosh, her voice is unreal. The story she was saying, the story she was telling, the things she talked about it was like an amazing experience. But also so weird to like come out of a theater and like see people you know and then like yeah. walk home from a Broadway theater. It was like, yeah, just like felt, it feels like <sighs> I'm in another world right now. <laughs> yeah. Not only is Amber a phenomenal performer, I'm oh talking like gosh. superstar vocals, absolutely incredible. Uh, but she commanded that stage. She had us all in the yes. palm of her hand and it took us on an emotional journey that I don't think anyone was really prepared for. I don't know. Maybe people <laughs> that know her personally were prepared for that but she was a hoot and oh my gosh uh, a true star and really just so powerful yeah spoke to our hearts and when did you first cry clay oh when she walked out and everyone stood up immediately that's why clapping i'm gonna cry now it was, and it was <laughs> yeah it was a surprise performance so nobody knew who was about to perform and even when she first walked out on the stage i didn't know who she was right immediately and yeah. i because we were up in the balcony yeah but without knowing who she was, everyone in the theater stood up. And supported her. And applauded and it was like. Yeah. I've missed uh, that sound. And it's not like something you, it was like a way to show appreciation for an art form that has been missing, you know? Mm -hmm. And it was, it was truly incredible. I feel so lucky to have gone. Wow. Mm -hmm. So we did find out after the fact that a, a Broadway producer by the name of Scott Rudin was involved with creating these Broadway pop-ups and funding these pop-ups. Um, Scott Rudin is now a uh, like, big news story. He actually produced Book of Mormon, which I was in, as well as many other Broadway shows that I have not been in. Um, and he is really under fire for some, uh, some really horrific behavior and uh, abuse. And it's never okay. That behavior is never okay. And we do not support that or condone that. I will say though that Amber, chose to speak about some of these issues and uh, mention Scott and talk about how that's not okay and we need to evolve past these awful events um, and really move forward as a unit on Broadway that is inclusive and that is uh, there for everyone, that is fair. Honestly, it's a big disappointment to know that Scott Rudin was involved with that, uh, that pop-up. Um, and it's, it's such a shame that he was allowed to get away with this horrific behavior, but not anymore. I know the Broadway family is gonna stand together and um, hopefully put an end to that kind of behavior and people like that, we don't want them producing Broadway shows. We don't want them. We want kind, loving, supportive, inclusive people. And I'm excited for the theater community to keep evolving and growing and um, raising the bar. So well done, Amber, and thank you for uh, inspiring us as audience members and as artists. And it was a really, really special afternoon. I'm glad we got to take part in. Me too. Gosh, being in a theater again was such, it was like walking into a time capsule yeah. of seeing the posters on the wall for West Side Story. There were like playbills for West Side Story still like roped together like they usually are before they're passed out to audience members. Yeah, that was trippy, right? It was so weird. Ugh, I can't wait to be on the other side of this. Yes, I'm so thrilled to get to that point. And one way that we can get there, as we mentioned, is getting vaccinated. Yes. And Clay just got a second dose. So we are gonna give you a full update on both of our second rounds of the vaccine on our next vlog, so stay tuned for that. And um, I can't wait to be back on Broadway with you. Mm -hmm. and back on tour and in Hamilton and on the road and performing for all of you. Um, but also, we have some fun things coming on this channel, so please click the subscribe button and give this video a like because there's new videos on the way. We have vlogs on Tuesdays and Fridays, of course. But there's some other fun videos coming at you on Monday soon. So that's all I will say. I keep dropping little hints. I know, I was, I didn't know you were gonna say that it's on Mondays. Ooh, Wonder what it could be. Tuned. Yeah, stay tuned. Also, if you ordered Chris and Clay merch, it should be on the way. 
or maybe it's already in your mailbox or in your dresser drawer. So once it arrives, be sure to take a picture with it and tag us on any social media platform and we'll repost it and we'll share it on here. Yeah. So look out for your face on our vlog soon if you post. Thanks for watching everyone. I'm Chris. And I'm Clay. Go make this world a better place and we'll see you real soon. Bye. Bye.